The Basilisk is a creature that we've seen appear in many bestiaries and works of fantasy. But how many of you have heard of the Cockatrice? A creature that was once often confused with the Basilisk because of its many similarities. The fastest way to distinguish between the two is through their physical appearance. There are depictions of the Cockatrice where it appears as a dragon with the head of a cockerel. But it's much more common to see the Cockatrice in the form of a bird. In recent depictions, the basilisk appears as a large serpent-like creature, with older images showing it to be an eight-legged reptilian monster. If you were wondering how the two creatures were born, well, this is the part where it gets a little bit weird and confusing. The cockatrice is hatched from the egg of a cockerel that's been incubated by a snake, and the basilisk is hatched by the egg of a snake that's been incubated by a cockerel. I know, weird. The cockatrice is considered to be a type of chimera, and in 14th century medieval England, the cockatrice appeared as a bird-like reptile who was able to turn people into stone with its gaze. Much like the chimera, the cockatrice was able to breathe fire and take flight. In its earliest appearances, the cockatrice was believed to be no bigger than a few inches. So, essentially you had a fire-breathing chicken that could fit in the palm of your hand. Not exactly the most terrifying creature, but its size did increase in later depictions. There are several ways to kill a cockatrice. If it was to see its own reflection in the mirror, it's likely that it would turn itself into stone. According to legend, the cockatrice would immediately die upon hearing the crow of a rooster. The only animal that was believed to be immune to the glance of the cockatrice was the weasel. Despite sharing its appearance of a serpent, the movement of the basilisk was unlike any other snake. It does not slither with its belly on the ground, it crawls forward with the front half of its body towering above the earth. Unlike the cockatrice which was known to be a rather small creature, serpent-like basilisks are known to grow to gigantic proportions. Similar to the cockatrice, the gaze of the basilisk is believed to be able to turn anyone into stone. The breath of a basilisk is believed to be so putrid that it can wither plants and even incapacitate grown men. There are some tales where the basilisk is able to breathe fire, but these tales are few and far. The venom of a basilisk is so toxic that it can kill a person from meters away without making any contact. The two creatures do share many of the same weaknesses. Those who were attempting to slay a basilisk would often throw a weasel or a rooster into the beast's den, hoping that the sound of the rooster's crow would turn the monster into ashes. There is no doubt that the basilisk and the cockatrice are very similar creatures. The basilisk has become a staple in works of fantasy, whereas the cockatrice has been relegated to nothing more than a medieval legend. It's not hard to imagine why there's been this evolution from the cockatrice to the basilisk in modern depictions. It's a lot harder to instill fear into an audience if the creature attempting to kill them resembles a barnyard animal. I mean, how good would the Chamber of Secrets really been if Harry was being chased through Hogwarts by a tiny fire-breathing chicken? It would have been hilarious, but hopefully you understand the point I'm trying to make. I feel the Basilisk presents a more sinister and terrifying figure. If you've enjoyed this video, then please consider leaving a thumbs up, as it helps promote the video and allows the channel to grow. If there's anything you'd like to discuss or have any ideas for future videos, then please let me know in the comments section. As always, I've been your host, Mythology and Fiction Explained.